politics. Now, Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula has urged political leaders to desist from making utterances that may throw the country into turmoil ahead of the 2022 general election. This even as Defense Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa took issue with the Madoadoa remarks made by Meru Senator Mithika Linturi during a political rally in Eldoret, calling on political leaders to exercise tolerance and sobriety during their campaigns. It is these remarks by Meru Senator Mithika Linturi during a Saturday rally organized by Deputy President William Ruto in Eldoret that continue to create jitters among the political class. Defense Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa says such utterances may rekindle the flames of the 2007 post-election violence. Nwaswaili wanasema usipoziba ufa tajenga ukuta. Hatunge penda tuone matamushi kama haya haswa eneo la Rift Valley. Bonde la ufa kuna historia, a very painful history ambako tumekuwa na matamshi kama haya na maafa ya mipata jamii zingine so jamii ya waluya wengi wameumia jamii ya wakikuyu wakisi wajaluo kwa ajili ya wale ambao walikuwa naita jamii hizi madoadoa the CS challenged political leaders to trade with caution in their campaigns in a bid to safeguard the unity of this country mefrai kusikia ya kwamba yule aliyetoa matamshi ya kutatanisha Senator Linturi amekamatwa na anachukuliwa hatua. Tutaka hiyo iwe funzo eh, kwa wale ambao hawachungi ndimi zao. Hasa wakati huu wa siasa mwaka wa uchaguzi. Tutaka yeyote anayekuja kutembea maeneo haya. Auze sera zake kwa amani lakini asichochee jamii. Sentiments echoed by Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula who was speaking separately after meeting a section of Ford Kenya leaders. Tafadhali viongozi wenzetu wana siyasa. Tuepukane na kutoa matamshi ambayo naweza kuleta taharuki au kuleta uhasama kati ya wanainji na jamii mbalimbali katika inji yetu kwa sababu haya yote tumeyaona tumeyapitia hapo mbeleni. And leaders from Makweni, led by Makweni Speaker Douglas Mbilu and a section of MCAs, say they will work with like-minded leaders to spur development in the region. Wanao wanea hizo viti, vya ugavana, na vile vingine ni vizuri na itakuwa ni jambo la maana la lazima wao kuketi china wa shikadau wa constituency ya Makweni, ikiwemo a district ya ama sub-county ya Wote, which is Makweni, sub-county ya Kathonzweni, the larger Kathonzweni, na sub-county ya Zawi ambao ni Zawi na Mbitini Ward. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu wa uzishu, pale kwa uongozi na sana sana kimaendeleo. Liana ya fuyatayo, kwamba, Makueni kama eneo la uwakilishi katika mbunge la kitaifa limebaki nyuma sana kiuongozi. Na sasa tukasema katika uongozi uliopo wa sasa hatuna shida na huo lakini yale ajayo ya mwaka huu 22 lazima watu wa Makueni wawe ndani ya uongozi ambao ujao. For lunch time news, I'm Safin Aching Oma.